and I immediately started feeling really tired. So I said, guys, I got to go. I'm feeling really off. And they're like, no, no, stay. And I'm like, I got to go. So I take off and like, I know I'm not going to make it home. I go to a hotel, spend the night there. And the next 24 hours are just gone. They're erased from my memory. I had something called fro, uh, fro, I'm not going to say it right. Flu bro something like that. And uh, it's the next day I get in my car to go home. I don't even remember this. I hit the curb. Like I didn't hit any people, thank God. Um, but I hit the curb, disabled my car. Some people helped me push into a McDonald's. Cops show up and they say something's wrong. Uh, I, you know, blew for an alcohol test. No alcohol in my system. So it had nothing to do with alcohol. It was not a DUI. It was an O-W-A-I operating while, mm. you know, having a uh, flu bromazine in my system. So I got arrested and uh, rightfully so I deserve that. And they thankfully gave me probation, you know, and, and I was just out of the mercy of the court. So I had really good people that, uh, you know, I, I represented myself and hire an attorney because I'm just like, listen, this happened. I'm going to just admit everything. And, uh, didn't get represented by anybody, just myself. And so then everything would have been good. And I told TLC all about it. I let them know this is what happened. And they said, well, it's a nonviolent crime. It's probably going to come out. And I said, well, I can handle it if it comes out. I feel like, you know, I can own it. And they said, well, it probably will. People like to dig. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, that's cool. What I didn't know is that it wouldn't come out. People, you know, thought I was kind of boring, I think maybe, because they didn't really dig in my past. And uh, that was kind of cool. So for a long time, <laughs> I mean, honestly, halfway through the show, no one knows. It tr Actually, I mean, I don't even think that came out on TMZ till, I mean, was the show done? I mean, I, was that even like after no, the No, I think there was a couple episodes left. Okay. Um, yeah, it wasn't done yet. But um, what happened was they sent a court, you know, appearance to the wrong address. I did not give them the right address. So they ended up, you know, um, sending it to the different address. I didn't get it. And by the time I did, there was a bench warrant out. So like immediately I go all the way from North Carolina where I'd moved to right North Carolina. Okay. Back up to Michigan, turn myself in. And honestly, no one would have even known then I still would have been good except for one thing. The judge was on vacation. Had the judge been there that day that I showed up, oh. we would have taken care of it. it. You know, maybe one of the police, or a court person would have recognized me and still, you know, said something. Um, but I still might have been able to keep it quiet because I hadn't even told my family. I didn't even tell my kids about it. I was embarrassed about it. I, I didn't think people could understand what happened. So I kept it a secret from my mom and dad, from my kids. No one knew. So then at court that day, they said, we got to hold you over till the judge comes back. And I'm like, well, when's that? And they said, it's going to be about a week. So they said, put your hands behind your back. Oh my God. And I'm God. like, wait, wait, wait. I said, my, my car's out in the, uh, <laughs> in the parking lot. I'm supposed to pick up my, my kids for dinner tonight. Like I'm in Michigan now. I want to see people. And they're like, no, put your hands behind your back. And that, and they like all the police stood up. Like I was going to give them a hard time. Like, is this guy going to run? And a cop came up from behind and I put my hands behind my back. They, they put me in shackles, feet shackles. They put me in jail. And my first phone call that I got to, to tell my family what's going on, because they didn't even know about the first arrest, they knew nothing, was actually 24 hours later. Like, you don't just get arrested and they're like, hey, make your phone call. No, there's like an appointment you have to make. And I, I just thought, wait, hey, wait, America wait, wait. Do, get do, that do, phone call. Now, do you think that they held you because they recognized you? They knew who you were and they were, were like they were trying to make an example of you or do you think it was because the judge was they were worried you were a flight risk because now you lived in North Carolina or a combination yeah, it's, 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 it's the second answer um okay because okay. I was a flight risk because I lived in North Carolina they're like you know you're a high risk in fact you know the judge I've, I've been told was known to just you know um give a bail where you just sign your name you know and and that's it you know a cash bond of ten thousand dollars is a lot yeah so, wow. uh, so wow. yeah, so I got processed, um, and to be processed into a County jail, like it's, it's, uh, just traumatic. I, I will never forget that experience. Oh my God. I bet. Oh my God. Wait, then did anyone recognize you once you were like being held for several days? Um, they didn't say, uh, but obviously someone did because by the time I got out, 
you know, TMZ had said that I had been arrested that night for DUI and they didn't correct that story about missing a court appointment for like five or six hours. By that time, you know, the board of my charity had found out, uh, my parents found out my kids, my, my kid found out at recess Mm. and she didn't even know about the first arrest. They had, you know, she had no idea. All she knew is that daddy, you know, somehow became a drunk and got, uh, pulled over for drunk driving, you know, the night before. So like, it was, it was bad. It was really, really bad. And, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to take full responsibility. Cause I mean, I'm the reason why I'm in jail It's no one else's fault. Yeah. It's, it's my fault, but, but it, it was bad. Um, Ben, I know we're going to wrap up. I have two final questions for you. How is your family now? You've, you've been through this. Your friends had some hesitations. Um, your kids, you know, were a little skeptical of you going on the show. What does everybody in your life and in your inner circle think now? Um, they really haven't been dissuaded from the position that I was an idiot to be on TV. I should not done that what are you doing going to a different country and why is she so young all that still remains okay. and i just have a lot of really good friends and i've built a strong enough relationship with my family where they're willing to put all that aside and still love me for me uh despite my shenanigans and i've got a great relationship i've always had a great relationship you know with my family and, and friends um so everything's good. You know, every good. once in a while I'll take a little break from social media and just be like, eh, I don't need to fill my mind with that anymore. I know. And so I'll take a break. And then sometimes I come back on, but I didn't do this for fame. I didn't do this for popularity. It would have backfired if that was my plan. Um, so now I just like, uh, I'm, I'm working out and I am training people. I've got, you know, a bunch of people that, that I train online now. And, uh, and I'm writing now for a motorcycle magazine. So, I mean, life is good. Good for you. Ben, look, I mean, you've come through it because, man, were you guys dragged. And, you know, I mean, yeah. like you said, to your point, some of it, you know, is, is your fault. But then other things, you know, are kind of out of your control. Um, what about your charity? Is there anything you want to promote? You've been so gracious and so transparent today. Is there, is there a charity you want to promote? Where can people subscribe? Because you kind of people mm-hmm. can sign up for the motorcycle um, read, right? Or you're doing well, a diary thing, I thought, where people could subscribe. Yeah, so they can. Uh, subscribe to diary spill. It might be diary dash spill.com. If they want to th- see what I'm doing every day, I write a little, you know, uh, blurb every day. Uh, that's not the motorcycle magazine. That's completely separate. Okay. They're two separate things. Um, they can go to Benjamin sage.com. If they want to be trained by someone who's very fit over 50, you are. Uh, and, and, and people say, why Benjamin sage? Your name's Benjamin Rathbun. Are you trying to like, so, People would say, what is Benjamin's age? And they would say that. And it's like, what is Benjamin's age? And Benjamin Sage just kind of became Benjamin's age. I love it. And then half of my training does have to do with like Sage uh, as far as like, you know, wisdom mentally and emotionally understanding your core so that even if you're, you know, laid out on, you know, national TV, you can still stay positive. That sort of thing. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So I'm a sage in that way. So it's benjaminsage.com. And uh, I have like a couple spots left that I can still train people. Uh, That's filling up quick. Or diary-spill.com. And then my charity, check this out. I've been on the board of a charity for a couple of years now that has nothing to do with my charity that, that fired me. This is a charity in Oakland County. And it's called Oakland Assistance. Okay. And it's Oakland Assistance Chapter um, uh, dot org. And Oakland Assistance is all about helping people in jail. And I'm like, why well, went I went to a board meeting? Like, do you guys want to fire me? You know, my last charity fired me. You guys, and they're like, are you kidding? You became more valuable now that you've been on the inside. We're trying to help inmates, and now you're the first person on our board to actually be processed and and you know to be a criminal, and that actually serves us well. So we are educating inmates. We're trying to give them uh, an option instead of probation to actually go through these really cool courses uh, to learn skills. All of our money, it ends up going back into the charity to help their kids to be able to get an education. We buy them tools and trade uh, and educate them, you know, for after high school. And we're just doing a lot of really cool things. So uh, I'm still I'm still associated with that charity. It's Oakland Assistance. Uh, Right there in Oakland County in Michigan. 
Well, I don't care what anyone says. I'm starting the campaign. I want to see you on TLC Single Life. I want to see you dating again. <laughs> I mean, Ben, you're like, you are somebody that, you know, I mean, you keep it interesting. You keep it and, you know, things happen to you. So it's good for television. I want to see you on Single Life. I think you'd be amazing. Well, I appreciate that, Sarah. Um, and I don't, you know, even know. So, But no, I think you'd be great back on reality TV. And um Oh my god! I, I, honestly, I don't know if I'd ever do it again. They really? they offered me to do well. They offered me to do um, the TLC ninety day uh, diaries. Yes. And Why didn't you say it, yes? I just it really didn't uh, fit who I was at the time. Okay. All right. Well, you got to do you got to do what's best for you. But I think you were great on TV. Well, thank you. Um, it. I will never say no. You know, there's always that possibility. Uh, but for right now, I'm good being off of social media and off of TV and uh, kind of in transition now that I'm in North Carolina, just kind of doing my own thing. Um, but I would never say no. OK, yeah. I mean, because I, I think there's something else in your future for TLC if you want it. But it's a lot of it's a lot of scrutiny. It's a lot of you, you do it well, but it's a lot, I'm sure, after a while. It is a lot. All right. It is. Well said. Ben, you got to come back on. You were terrific. I mean, <laughs> we'll have to do a whole nother interview because I've got a million more questions for you. I, I, we didn't even get into all the tell-all juicy stuff. So anyway, all right, yeah. next time. Okay, Ben, okay. you're amazing. We'll see you soon.